To draw the leaning tower of Pisa, you need, first of all, to get some kind of an angle. So I'm doing this, I mean, you can do this roughly, um, but I am just drawing a line up there. And what you want is roughly 10 degrees. And how do you find that? Well, if you kind of split that there, that will give you 45 degrees. And if you split that again, which is gonna be about there, that is going to give you 45, it's going to give you 22 and a half degrees. If you split that again, that is going to give you 11.25 degrees. So 10 degrees is going to be, I don't know, about there, isn't it? So I'm going to draw there like that, and then I'm going to erase these bits. So this is the kind of angle that we're talking, which is quite steep, isn't it, really? And what we want to do is to work out how high it's going to be. Now I know I'm going to want a little bit on the top kind of about there, something like that. So I'm going to say it's going to be about that high there. So this is the main section. So this is about in, th I need to split this roughly into thirds. And that is going to be roughly how wide it's going to be like that. There we go. That's, that doesn't feel right, does it somehow? That's a little bit wider. So I can maybe make that go a little bit wider too, something like that. And then that will be going straight across like that. Now this is all actually quite complicated. So what you want to do is to kind of halve that, halve it again and into quarters. And halve that, and then that will go into quarters there. You've got a, a central piece running through the tower, like that. And this is the campanile bit at the top where the church bells are. Now we want to have this slightly curved, so on each of these, draw a curve like that. And you're going to want another curve just below each one. So you get these kind of, they're not parallel, but you know what I mean, they're kind of parallelly curving around like that. There we go. And this will give you kind of roughly where the first columns go, and then we're going to want two more columns in the middle, which will go up roughly about like that. And we're going to want these kind of pillar heads across the top there and there will be a door there and inside each of these there is also a kind of a diamond if we work out where these pillars go up like that but we have two up the middle then we're going to want to split all those again because we have twice the number of pillars this is a really complicated drawing <laughs> so that would be about that uh, i did that already didn't i no oh, i'm very confused now that went there, so I just want to go back there, that's there, and then one down there. So what I'm going to do is draw in, these are kind of the the floors, each of these floors. So that's one, and then you go to the top one of those. And it's sticking out slightly over the edge. And here we can draw, these are the pillar heads, like that, and then we can draw the pillars coming down like that. And it's kind of grass along the bottom, it's kind of set in a green thing. And then you want to draw the arches here, double arches, and these diamonds in each bit there. And here will be the main door. Now, we've got a lot of boring stuff to do here, so what we need to do is one, two, these are the pillar heads. Five, six. Oh, I got this very confused. So it's going up there, so we want one there, one there, one there, and one there. And again, uh, that's it. So these are the, as I say, these are the, the, the tops of the pillars. <laughs> oh, I get very confused. And then we want to draw in all the pillars. If you are finding this all a bit difficult, I have made a how-to step-by-step sheet, which you can get if you join my art school on Patreon. There's a link up here. And now we have the next boring bit is to draw the arches. So you want to do these kind of two loops. So or you could just go all the way along in one loop and then do extra loops over the top. Now I'm going to put in the, the central tower section coming down through there. Uh, just, I'm just going to assume it's coming to about there. And then this will come up. And then we want it to go around there around the top 
And then there's this kind of zigzaggy pattern there. Now we want here, we want one big arch and at the top of that arch is a little arch and in it is a bell. Then alongside it you can go arch, 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 arch and inside that arch is another little arch with the bells in it like that. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so that I can then put a flag on the top. Now when you are sure that the ink is dry then you can erase those pencil lines. Now to give it sort of a real sense of shadow, draw these curves on the inner bit, the kind of inner tower that is going up around it. And then in the spaces in between, you can draw in some shadow with just vertical lines that are meeting that curve. And that will give a feeling of the inner roundness of the tower. You might want to put a bit of shading in underneath these arches as well. A little bit of shading in these arches up here too. Now you have to be quite brave here because I'm going to put some hatching all the way up this side. Which is kind of going to give it a bit of shadow. And make it look a bit more 3D. And up the side there too. And then I'm just going to finish it off with a little bit of shadow to put it on the ground and you can maybe have some trees and things in the background. Phew, well I hope you enjoyed that and if you did and you want to draw more towers try the Eiffel Tower or have a go with the mystery drawing. Either way make sure you click that pencil and subscribe for more real easy drawing videos. And uh, why not go and support me on Patreon? You can get step-by-step -step sheets and lots and lots more. Join my art school, all sorts of things going on there. Uh, and in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.